either one is considered uh, antisocial personality disorder. They are not mental illness as defined by the um, American Psychological Association. Uh, they are um, antisocial personality disorders, and as such, there's no cure for them. There, uh, there is no, tr uh, there's no um, uh, recognized treatment or drug that that can um, uh, eliminate the the uh, the traits of a psychopath or a sociopath. Now, what's the distinction between the two? A psychopath is an, ind an individual who is essentially unplugged emotionally. They, they do not have the ability to, to feel or experience real emotion. They can mimic it. They're, they oftentimes, uh, psychopaths uh, many times are very adept at mimicking uh, emotional behavior and affect and um, empathy, but they don't actually feel it. They, they're flatlined when it comes to emotion. They, they're able to feel um, uh, euphoria, they're able to feel rage um, uh, in, in some circumstances, but they don't feel empathy, they don't feel um, uh, sorrow, they don't feel fear in, 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 a, in, a, in a normal way. Um, and as such, they're, they're the perfect killing machine because they, they, don't, they don't have the range of emotions and feelings that would inhibit most of us, 99% of us, from uh, doing the things that, that they do. They simply just don't have that, uh, that uh, uh, emotional connection. Now, a sociopath, on the other hand, is an individual who, imagine if there's an empathy cord plugged in the wall that allows you to, you know, to experience uh, empathy with others. Uh, for a sociopath, it's a faulty plug. Sometimes they can, they, they can connect with other individuals, and sometimes they do not. With the majority of people, in, in the majority of situations, they do not feel empathy or, or an emotional connection. But in some rare situations, they do. They may have a, um, uh, a, a brother or, or another loved one that they feel close to, and they can feel empathy with that individual. Uh, but under most circumstances, not. Now, consequently, because they're, they're, their ability to empathize and feel emotion sort of comes and goes, a sociopath is easier to see in your midst. They're, they're easier to see coming than a psychopath because psychopaths are just stone cold and they're, they're, they're um, unemotional. Sociopaths tend to be more volatile. They tend to have um, um, this, uh, 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 streaks of anger, uh, bouts of rage, um, and, they're, and they're, 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 they're just much more easy to identify when they're, when they're in your midst. So, uh, and, and also, psychopaths are more rare. Uh, it's believed that there's maybe one million psychopaths in the United States out of 300 million people and perhaps eight or nine million sociopaths. So sociopaths are actually uh, more prevalent. You're much more likely to come in contact with a, with a, with a sociopath. you're looking at is the man who loves these kids and loves his wife and will never ever ever do anything to harm them that's the Chris you're looking at right now the Chris you're looking at right now wants these kids and his wife back at his house right now that's the Chris you're looking at um, <laughs> I care I promise I love those kids with all my heart. Nothing in this world would ever make me do anything to these kids or my wife.